Hey what's up guys so in this video I'm going to show you how you can create snowflakes inside affinity designer now I'm going to share with you two methods the first method is going to be pretty simple and it is going to give you a very basic snowflake shape and you will be able to create it within just few seconds the second method is a bit advanced and you will be able to create slightly complex and also some organic looking snowflakes now if you are interested in that let's get started Now here inside Affinity Designer I have already created a square shape document and uh, it doesn't matter what is the type of document or the square or the rectangular document but it is just best to create it in a square shape document. The first method is going to be pretty simple. I'm going to use a pen tool and I'm going to create a straight line. Now slow flakes have six sides so keep that in mind before I uh, move in the further steps. So I have just created a straight line then I'm going to use the rectangle tool and by pressing the shift key I'm going to create a perfect scale just rotate it like that and then place it at this location as soon as it snaps I'm just going to leave it like that and then I'm going to press convert to curves it is going to help us just uh, move individual points and also change individual points as well. So I'm going to select that top point and at the top I'm going to use this second option in the action that is break curve and then I'm going to select that top point again press delete to delete it select that top point again press delete to delete the second point and then I'm going to just scale it down a bit like that in the next step I'm just going to press ctrl j to copy it move it down a little bit something like that and then scale it up a bit like that now if you want to create another similar element at this point you can also do it but let's just keep it pretty simple then i'm going to select all of these and then press ctrl g to group them now it's time to create copies of that now before i do that i'm going to change its center point which means that at the if i rotate it it should not rotate it at this like that it should rotate at this bottom um, you can just rotate around this bottom point so in order to do that I'm going to use at this uh, this option the first one enable transform region that is next to ungroup so I'm going to click it and you will see that we have slightly target kind of like an icon or a shape appears here I'm going to select this one and then move it down like that and then I'm going to press ctrl j to copy it now keep an eye on this uh, rotation field here in the transform panel and um, because it's very important to keep uh, note what is the angle at which we are rotating so i'm just going to rotate it and as soon as we see the 30 or actually the 60 we are going to leave it so not the 45 we are going to make it 60 whether it is minus 60 or plus 60 it doesn't matter so we have rotated it at 60 degrees then i'm just going to leave it then i'm going to press ctrl j a couple of times and it is going to create a copies of that shape and this is how we can get a basic snowflake very basic snowflake shape in just a few seconds now one thing that you notice is that if you want to create uh, another kind of like uh, this you know branch shape on this one you can do it but it will not be copied on the other side you have to start it from the scratch delete other copies create that branch and then copy it again so this is this method is pretty helpful if you are just in a hurry and want to create some very basic snowflakes for your designs but if you are interested in creating a little bit more complex snowflake shapes or having more control over, for, over these shapes this second method is going to help you now let's use the second method so as i have already said the second method is a bit advanced so you need to set up your document a little bit before you start creating the snowflakes so for that i'm going to use these shapes uh, pre-made shapes inside of Unity designer and i'm going to choose this star shape tool i'm just going to press shift key and create a star shape just random star shape and then align it at the center now as i already uh, told you that snowflakes have six points not five points so i'm just going to enter six in this field and it is going to give us six uh, sided star and the inner radius i'm just going to make it zero 
because we just need some guidelines here then i'm going to press shift and control to scale it up a bit just align it again because we have changed the uh, sides from five to six and then let's just make this one very thin because it's just going to help us um, you know, create a guide for our snowflake shapes we are not going to use this star shape okay the next thing that i'm going to do is use this pen tool and create a rectangle you know triangle actually uh, in this empty area that we can see in this divided portion so i'm going to click here at the top and as soon as it highlights it i'm just going to click it and then i'm going to press uh, click here at the center and as soon as it highlights you know that we are now at the center like that and then i'm going to you know just create the third point of the triangle by on this spoke and uh, as soon as it's highlight I'm just going to click and then join the fourth area now if you want to extend it you can extend it by pressing the shift key and then you can extend it as you like but it does not really matter if you want you can do it the next thing that I'm going to do is just convert this one into a symbol but before I do that I want to create some kind of shape inside here so that I know where my original sh uh, triangle shape is so I'm just going to use the pen tool and I'm just going to create a random shape and fill it with any color it doesn't matter which color it is and then I'm going to make it a child of that triangle then I'm going to select that triangle including that shape go to the symbols tab actually here it is so go to the symbols tab and press control uh, this button called create it has now created a symbol the next thing that I'm going to do is just to make copies of this around this one but before i do that i have to change the center point as you can see that i have already selected this option enable transform region so i'm just going to move this center point at this location and it is going to highlight the different uh, vertical and the horizontal lines and the other spokes as well which is going to tell you that it is now at the center so i'm just going to leave it here next i'm going to do is just press ctrl j to copy it just rotate it and as soon as it snaps the other you know empty area or you can say the divided portion i'm just going to leave it and in the transform you will see that i have rotated it at 60 degrees then i'm going to press ctrl j a couple of times to create more copies of it like that and the next thing is that i'm going to select all of the symbols that i have created all of these press ctrl j to copy these and then at the top i'm just going to flip them horizontally like that now we have a shape like that which is uh, kind of like a beautiful flower type of shape you can definitely create these type of things uh, but that's not the point of our tutorial here and yeah, we are going to create some snowflakes all right the next thing that i'm going to do is just go into any symbol it doesn't matter which is you know, i'm just going to choose this bottom one and that's just delete this basic curve shape or if you want you can just simply hide it all right the next thing that i'm going to do is just going to choose this pen tool and i'm going to start creating the snowflake now i'm just going to use first uh, create this vertical one like that make its width extremely high maybe something like that and maybe just uh, create some kind of a circle in the middle as well so i'm just going to create a circle here change its fill color to none and make sure that it is at the center like that and then i can just uh, move this vertical spoke and uh, touch that circle now you can see that i'm just creating in one of these symbols but everything else is being created for me now you can see that we have these lines at these edges or at these points and that is because we have created the triangle and did not remove the stroke so you just need to remove that stroke or maybe remove the color any one of them will work and that lines or those lines will just disappear now it's all up to you how much details you want you can uh, create multiple spokes multiple lines like that press shift key to copy it and then uh, let's just see what kind of stroke we have we have 44.9 let's just change both of these to 45 for simplicity and uh, then let's just change this stroke width to 45 as well 
and you can see that we are now getting some kind of you know snowflake shapes and then we can create something like that and we have created you know beyond the symbol so i'm just going to bring it inside our symbol and uh, we can make slightly more complex like this one just touch this one and touch at this point we can move our point and uh, adjust it according to our likeness and we can add other multiple shapes as well let's say i just want to create some kind of uh, circle here as well with the fill color instead of a stroke so i can definitely create that as well and i can move it in this location so you can see that we can create some cool looking geometric uh, snowflake shapes interesting looking snowflake shapes now if you want to add more details slightly more complex what you can do is just uh, let's say change the you can say that uh, stroke width and add slightly more details here let's say i want to add maybe something like that coming at this point and uh, maybe instead of 45 i want it to be slightly thinner like that so you can see that you can definitely create some complex looking these kind of snowflake shapes for your designs now if you're worried about this center line that is because we have the star shape enabled here that was serving just as a guide so i'm just going to hide it and now we have our snowflake shape ready for us now this was just uh, you can see that it is a more uh, geometric looking snowflake shape but if you want to be more kind of like an organic looking snowflake shape like a doodle style or hand drawn style you can definitely do it using this method so i'm just going to currently select all of these shapes press ctrl g to group them and hide it for a moment now i'm going to show you how you can create those doodle looking style uh, stars snowflake shapes and for that instead of the pen tool you are going to use this pencil tool so i have selected this pencil tool and let's say I just want to change the width to be slightly higher maybe 35 would be fine and then i'm going to just create a random shapes be like that and at the top i want it to be like that and uh, somewhat like that and you know like that so it totally depends upon you what kind of shape or what kind of complex uh, design that you would like to create so this is definitely looking more organic style and it's going to give you more control if you are making it kind of like a hand drawn style uh, snowflake shape now i'm just going to select all of these shapes that i've created and then press ctrl j so you can see that after uh, you know, just setting up this document according to my advanced method i have created two snowflake shapes very complex snowflake shapes within just few minutes one is more like a doodle style the other one is a little bit more geometric looking sharp looking style design so guys that's how you can easily create snowflake shapes inside affinity designer now i have some tips regarding the export method or exporting these in uh, in the form of png image but i have already discussed it in one of my previous videos that was about mandalas so if you want to check that you should uh, check that video out it has some interesting tips regarding exporting these as png images because i don't want to make this tutorial too long so i'm just going to stop it at this point now if you have found this video to be helpful make sure that you like the video and let me know what are your thoughts about this method and this tutorial it will help me with the youtube algorithm as well so guys hopefully i'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching